We're back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button tell me know you watch this video helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort i put into making these videos so here we are with sndl sundial growers inc and before we jump into it i want to share with you guys the opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord and if you want to get on early with us check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we're going to jump into everything here with sndl and what's been going on since yesterday to today and what the charts are showing so the opportunities i mentioned this morning turned out to be spectacular and beyond expectations and if you want to get on early with us and know about these opportunities early check out the link down below in the description to the discord we strive for opportunities like these every single day and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so here are the stocks i mentioned this morning and one of them nearly reached home run territory which is 20 percent plus in a matter of minutes and that was goev we caught this one as it was consolidating it dipped after the bell and from its bottom to the top it did a full transition on 42 vision right this is extreme weakness through the volatility showing strength we got that bull indicator and it took off to a highest point of 15 percent plus and just moments after it got the bear indicator and a full transition into weakness now this one was tradable all day it gave five to ten percent moves 10 to 15 percent moves multiple times but this was in the first 30 minutes now the other stock i mentioned was gsmg we caught this one as it was pushing upwards in strength sitting at 175 before the bell and then it took off all the way to a highest point here of 197 giving a highest point of 15 percent plus before transitioning into weakness and sending a bear indicator here based off of ultimate 42 vision now if you want to become part of this and gain access to this clarity in the charts as well as become part of the community and gain on early with us check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us let's jump into these charts so here we are with sndl sundar gores inc and before we jump into it it's happened to me before with this video it's usually like the crowd of investors that invest in sndl or either they're new investors or they're trying to find the next hot penny stock and they come across sndl and it's their first time trading or it's their first time trading a penny stock and I usually get comments down below of people disagreeing with what I have to say. Usually when you disagree with what I have to say, I'm not saying I'm always right. I'm not saying I know what I'm doing better than anyone else or the next person. But usually what I state, it doesn't really have anything to do with anyone's true thoughts or feelings or emotions when it comes to the trading aspect of any chart because I focus in on the charts. And now we're able to look at charts from a much more enhanced perspective with the 42 vision indicators okay tools that you can gain access to now by joining the link is down below in the description to the discord it gets you access to the daily watch list weekly watch list and the indicator 42 vision when you pick the 42 vision tier level it is optional but it's so powerful okay we've been seeing this weakness start since way back here on the 30 minute and then the last two days have been weak anyways since this bear indication right here we did that video way back on the 15th yesterday we talked about how we don't see a bull indication we need to see it okay it's consolidated i'm gonna be looking for it well guess what this bear indication is still there and we still went lower i do not make bias videos my videos and everything i state i try to be as unbiased as possible even if i have a position and it's down i don't show that if it's up i don't show that i don't want to overhype something i don't want to underhype something if anything we focus in on the raw data okay we've always done that here in this channel if it's your first time coming across the channel you're not aware of that now we also get to use the 42 vision indicators that i'm sharing with you guys so you could see my setup and also have some clarity on what's really going on so that as investors we are all prepared now if you want to get the live updates and the live information you're definitely going to want to access it by checking out the link down below now when i went ahead and put the 15 minute right 
we could see here how it tried to have a bull indication yesterday. We talked about that as well, but this hit an upward trend and it was kind of sitting sideways that we needed to see some strength. If it didn't happen, it was probably gonna give us another bear indication or go into weakness, and that's exactly what happened today. I've also talked about why this stock flew so high up here, okay, after earnings. And I've also talked about some key words that a lot of people may be overlooking, okay? If it's your first time coming across those words from that article, which is actually quoting the earnings call, you definitely wanna know this stuff. And basically, the most important words was, they're going to do a hundred million dollar repurchase, well, Canadian dollars, a hundred million in Canadian dollars repurchase program. But from time to time in prevailing markets, there's no specific date, there's no specific time, okay? Super important to be aware of that. And then on top of that, I've received comments down below saying, for the enhancement or the betterment, right, of its shareholders. Now, those are some key words as well. That's the whole point of a repurchase program. For the betterness of the shareholders. That's the whole point of a repurchase program. For the enhancement of the shareholders experience, but it doesn't guarantee that the stock's gonna go up. There's some key things to be aware of. Also in this earnings call, which is almost like a tactic what they're doing, right? Because the repurchase program doesn't even need to happen. It's from time to time in prevailing markets. They're probably gonna wanna buy lower, not up here or even at these levels. That's why we're probably gonna see it keep on going down. And this created a lot of hype, okay? And I don't want investors to be blindfolded to what's really going on. And you could just see how many bear indications have popped up. We've had three in this direction and only two small bullish ones come up, okay? And so far, we're still underneath a bear one on the 15 minute. But let me pull up here the earnings again. So earnings was beat in a small surprise, okay? But that's earnings versus revenue was missed by a 12% amount. That is super important to be aware of because earnings is where net profits come from and profits are what make stocks go up. This movement here is hype and speculation, excitement, euphoria, but the real moves to the upside come from earnings and net profits. So on the 30 minute, we have this coming up as well as the 15 minute, but let's look here at the four hour. So the four hour, it started with the bear indication since the 16th in the pre-market, which was yesterday, and it's been rolling over into today. And one of the most important things here, when I first saw this pop up on the 15th on the one day, is we need to see this try to reverse back up from green with red borders to green with green borders. It didn't do that. It transitioned into dark green with red borders. And the one piece that's missing here for this to go into even further weakness is red candles, okay? They haven't even popped up. That's the next part of the puzzle, okay? And the ending part would be white with red borders. We haven't even seen that. We're far from that. We could try to bounce from here, but I need you guys to be aware that if it doesn't, it's gonna go into further weakness. And it broke through the most important support that we were watching, okay? I told you guys about a support level yesterday and in every single video since the 15th that needed to be watched and that was up here at 80 cents, okay? If it retested 78, we needed to see if it could hold up above it or if it breaks through it. It's getting really close to that. So if 78 gets broken through, this could be on its way down to newer lows and I will be watching down here at around 75 cents to see what's going on in the longer term of this trajectory based off the one day as well as the four hour and the 30 minute has been in that downward pressure and we have not seen a bull indicator come up. We've only seen a bear one and it's been like that since then. Now to zoom this in, 78 turns into a support. If this bounces back up, today's highs right up here at 83 cents definitely needs to be broken through and the next point is 85. And once those two are turned into support, I will be watching if the bulls can continue that upward direction to then break through 94 and get back up to these highs up here of 97 to see if we can reach a dollar. Now, the news of 100 million shares, right, in dollars of Canadian dollars being repurchased is a very bullish aspect long term. But short term, we are going through some hurdles here through the speculation of this being a penny stock 
and some people just took advantage of the news and information for a quick trade. That's another thing you need to be aware of. Are you a trader in this opportunity or are you looking to go long? Because the long term story, if they're trying to buy back a hundred million dollars of Canadian dollars of the repurchase program, they seem pretty bullish. OK, they see something or they know something that we don't. So it's super important to be aware of that. And this earnings miss was only 12 percent off. Maybe it can get better in the near future or turn positive. We'll see. I mean, that'll be a big move for the company. But right now, this is struggling to hold up and we are seeing nothing but bearish signs. I am not being biased. I am not a bear. I just focus on what the charts are showing and how things are really moving. Now, on the five minute, if you want to microscopically look at this even closer. You can see here that it's trying every single time. And when those bull indicators pop up, they're not strong enough and it just falls. And then it tries again, not strong enough and it just falls. And we just got another bear indicator here in the after hours. So I'm showing you guys all the different indicators here that are popping up and everything it's showing and the moments it has tried to go upwards. It just has not been strong enough and there needs to be more volume. Okay. One of the most important things that drives up a penny stock, especially one underneath a dollar is volume. The average last 10 days volume is 236 million. Okay. These days there was a lot more volume than we are having today. We've only got 125 million. That is half of what is going on here. This needs to get more volume. If it doesn't, there's going to be more outflow beating than the inflow. And it's going to continue to create that bearish pressure to the downside. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.